You talked a little bit about environment, and we've been battling cancer, this official war on cancer since the early 70s. What do we know about the causes today? In my book, I have, I, it's mainly about testing. I mean, you know, I tell people what, te what the test is, the phone number to call, how to get how long it takes for the test results to come back, what to do if the kit comes in the mail, the benefits and limitations, but I go a little bit into about what the causes of cancer are. And in a nutshell, it's what I said before, toxicity and deficiency. Um, and there's so many things that cause toxicity. Um, you know, fungal mycotoxins in our diet cause toxicity, chemicals, stress. If, you're, if your body is, um, you know, your, your, your gut flora is, is is not strong and you know I talk to people about their diet and they say oh I eat really well I eat grilled chicken I eat vegetables but the chicken they're eating has antibiotic residue and it's killing their gut flora um, so I'm like well you better be taking a probiotic with every meal because you're you're you know you're you're sterilizing your gut every time you put food or you drink water from the iced tea at a restaurant because it's got chemicals in that water it's very hard not to be toxic in this world um, there's you name it, it can cause cancer. And the fact is, we don't, no matter what causes it, I think it's really hard to avoid those causes in this world. You just need to find it early and always be de -detox detoxifying your body. Mm -hmm. um, people take zeolite, sweating is huge. We go from air conditioned building to air conditioned car, into the office, to the grocery store, back home and air conditioning. Um, but we forget to sweat and the toxins, a lot of people are getting breast cancer. Um, Skin cancers are just huge, but we're, we're just toxic. We're just very toxic.